Well, I've been in the industry over 30 years. Um, I initially started out doing bookkeeping, taxes, and things of that nature. Um, and through the years, I found with my clients, I, had, I started my practice for tax planning in 2000. I found that my clients really needed something more. When they would come to me with their taxes, there would be an issue because of some financial investment or divestment that they had during the year. So I felt that I needed to be able to offer them something more to help them more because I'm, I really just am in this to help my clients. So I began um, the process of becoming a financial advisor. I specialize I would say specialized with professionals. I work with a lot of doctors, attorneys, architects, and then um, small business owners, you know, people with consulting firms and um, daycare centers, people who need someone to help them to plan their exit strategy. I do a lot of business planning for my clients to let them see where they are, where do you want to be, how, how do you see yourself exiting what you're doing? How do you see yourself getting out of being an architect? How do you see yourself getting out of this business that you've built. How do you want, do you want to pass it on to your children? Do you want to sell it to your employees? How, well, how do you see yourself exiting? And I really do a lot with that when working with them. Well, in the first meeting, um, generally I'm asked, I ask them to bring, if they have a will, to bring their will and any estate planning documents that they already have in existence. If not, you know, we work together and get the, those things taken care of. Um, they'll bring any statements along that they have for different, um, for insurance, for investments, the things that they have um, as far as if they own real estate. And just the things so we can see where their assets lie and how we can build upon what they have to get to where they want to be. Uh, once we get all that information, I'll sit down, I'll talk to them about what their goals are. Where do you see yourself in five years? What do you want to happen when you die? And what exactly would you like to happen when you die? And most people don't know exactly. They say, well, I want to leave money. Well, what do you want the money to be for? I want to really have them to think. Well, I'm planning to purchase another practice by the end of the year, a CPA practice, so that I can work with the clients there and expand, and just expanding my own practice so I can be more effective and help more people. And then also, in the next couple years, I'll get my CFP credential to add to the other credentials that I currently have. And that, you know, I'm always just looking for a way to build up myself so that I can be more effective and help my clients more.